probably a hundred times on my like feet and legs by mosquitoes. So like the other day, I think I told you guys my friend's like uncle has like a lake house that their like whole family uses or whatever and shit. So we went there. He's like, we can go there and barbecue. You know, he's like cool with us going over there and stuff. So we did, and uh, dude, I am not. I got fucking chewed up. I have so many mosquito. Like, it literally looks like I have acne on my feet. That's how many mosquito bites I have. It's fucking crazy, dude. One potential stream sniper. Same name as somebody that snipes, but I don't know if it's actually him. Uh, I'm just going to cancel the bets from the last game. Sometimes I, like, I don't know. I just have, like, days where I, like, win everything and days where I lose everything. What's my the balance in between stream delay performance and maintaining decent interaction? I just talk to chat and I don't give a fuck about the other two. I play like shit, I have no delay, and I get stream sniped every game. <laughs> That's all I do. That's my strategy. Oh, remind me too, chat. I gotta unbox this fucking G this new G fuel. What's on, Joe? Look what came in today. Las plagas. I mean, he was talking about agonizing his blue day stream, basically just talking to yourself the whole stream. I mean, I've just basically just, I don't care anymore. I just, I literally get stream sniped like almost every single game. I, you just have to like give up, like not for nothing on that. It's normally not as bad if Ubisoft would like, there's a bug with stream remote. And if Ubisoft fixed that, it would not be anywhere near as bad. Um, but it's been going on for eight months now and I've reminded them about it about like 15 different times and they just like never fix it so i have no hope at this point for them to ever fix it and uh i've just given up i just get stream sniped like crazy and it is what it is whatever happens happens i generally get sniped almost every game and that's that's all if they would just fix that feature it would reduce probably like 80 percent of stream sniping but they have yet to fix it so whatever i'll just go fuck myself it's fine part of streaming I guess that I just gotta deal with it until they fix it or would they probably will never fix it because they're lazy right. uh, armory's clear we don't have a breacher rep it'd be really cool if we like took a breacher it'd be like the coolest thing ever actually um, there's a bug where, uh... There's a bug where, I'll just, it's so well known it doesn't even matter, I'll just say it, but basically... 
let's say there's somebody in your game that's using streamer mode, right? So hypothetically, you should see their name as like whatever their in-game name, right? Their in-game name is. So when you when I hit tab, it shows randomized names, and my name is you, right? But in-game, my my you play name is King George. But in-game, it's not King George. It's whatever. I don't even know what I have it right now. Let's just say I make it like, I don't know, not King George, uh, whatever. Let's say I make it the number 392, just as an easy example, right? So people will see the number 392. So what people do is now, every single game, because people in Rainbow Six are absolute degenerate pieces of shit, they will literally go, and there's a bug, where if you block the person in-game, it will show you, in your block list, who the person is. So, like... Just as an example, there's only one person on our team in this whole lobby right now that's using stream mode. Normally, there's like three or four that are, but I'm the only person using stream mode. See, because you can't see the level and tracker, even all the tracking services and stuff respect streamer mode. But if they so all this enemy team has to do is they just have to block me and they can see exactly who I am. Just like that. Bam. Done. It'll show them exactly who I am. So my request to Ubisoft was, hey, can you please fix this block bug? And then streamer mode will work pretty well, and I'll probably get stream sniped like 80, 90% less of the time, and they just haven't fixed it in eight months now. They just like refuse to fix it for whatever reason. I don't know if it's like really complicated because it's part of Uplay, or Ubisoft Connect rather, or what the deal is, but they just have not fixed it in like eight fucking months. So every streamer that you see that's like, you know, I mean, I don't give a fuck anymore because I'm just used to it, but like every streamer that you see like losing their mind because they're like constantly getting stream sniped, that is why and it's literally Ubisoft's fault. It's 100% literally on Ubisoft. They literally spent the time and money to actually make a very like good and robust uh, anti-cheat. And, uh, they just, or sorry, um, a very good and a very robust, uh, uh, streamer mode. And then they just, like, basically fumbled the bag, like, uncontrollably, um, by, like, letting this glitch just remain out there in, like, the, in the world. One is one is coming from Armory side. Armory. Low HP. I don't know what I'm doing. I should have killed that guy. Uh, Vicious King, thank you very much for the sub. Will to the I am for the 46 month three sub. Welcome back. Happy birthday, George. Hope you had a great day at the zoo. Sorry about your goldfish. Now, my birthday, no zoo trip. I went to Costco. That's kind of a zoo. Uh, no goldfish. And we still win. Good job. Nice job. Still win. Uh, uh, uh. Did the goldfish drown? Yep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't I don't even know what Ubi's doing half the time. Like, the devs and stuff like that are pretty good, but I... I I think there's just a bunch of middle management that's like literally dog shit at Ubi. That's that's been my perception of Ubisoft every single time that I've like been to their headquarters or like like the devs genuinely really fucking care like a lot. They actually do the marketing people and stuff like that really care a lot. They really do like all the like regular employees really care. It just seems like 
and probably even some executives and stuff care. I think it's just probably like certain people here and there that are like certain decision makers just do not care about certain things or it's like, I don't know. Or they just figured like, hey, it's good enough. It'll work like whatever. I don't know. Whatever. They, they probably just kind of, you know, what are you going to do? They probably just have priorities in other places and shit like that. And that's it. Costco poutine. We don't have poutine at Costco. We just have hot dogs, pizza. There's either cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, hot dogs, churros, ice cream, smoothies, and they have like fountain pop, and that's it. I don't think they have anything else. I got that to the door for you. Just give me a sec. Why is my game lagging like unfucking controllably? Oh yeah, the chicken bake. How did I forget about the chicken bake? Downed a guy too. Got just aced. Four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. Think so? Yeah, I did. I just aced. Yep. I don't feel like I aced. But I aced, I guess. The Costco, yeah, that's all it was, dude. <laughs> I was here, I was here about the Costco hot dog, and I'm like, oh yeah, I could, I'm gonna fucking tear it up. You know what? Fuck it. I'm playing Kavera shotgun at close range. I'm about to go crazy in this corner. I got the weekly challenge for Cab, and I have the Cab Elite. So let's let, let's go for it. Why? Not? I never play Kavera ever. I think she's a dog shit operator for baiting losers, but we'll do it anyway. Nice of Ubi to put me in that copper lobby. Yeah. American reinforce. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Believe it or not, he does have the ability. Go play Big Tower like the baiter you are. Bitch, you fucking play Big Tower all the time. I need to stay closer to sight and um, probably not play Kavera. I would like to win, and this operator is fucking terrible. Okay. We have Mira up. We should just 
I think we can win season. I'll take Mira. And like a mute shield. You bought the Audi RS7 and the Crew 2 because you're too poor to buy it in person? Dubs. Honestly, dude, video games? There's some crazy racing rigs. And they are very expensive. They're like, you know, roughly, say, like, five to $10,000, which is extremely expensive. But it's cheaper than buying a car, and you can pretty much drive every car, more or less, right? Drive. Biggity Boot Bop. Biggity Boot Bop was the roster name before Continuum. So the team that I won the Invitational with, their original name before they had an orb was Biggity Boot Bop. Because they just had to create a random name. Um, I actually never, uh... I never played it, but Ubisoft actually gave me permission. I, I got, like, some of, like, some early permission, basically, to play the crew. And to, uh, stream it as well. And I had drops. And I just never got around to playing it because it was, like, right when I was getting back from Saudi Arabia. By the way, if you haven't saw my vlog, you could type Expedition Vid and, uh... My vlog from uh, Gamers 8 in Saudi Arabia is up right now. Case is down blue. Um, Someone meeting. Not a good C4, but fuck yeah! Got his one in the meeting hatch. M81 gamers eight. Nope, they lost to BDS actually. They did take easy velocity. Was it hot or humid? It was hot and dry, but honestly, I liked it better than like it was definitely hot when you walk outside. It's actually the weirdest phenomena I've ever seen. I didn't even have this happen to me when I went to Vegas. Cause Saudi Arabia is hotter than Vegas. Vegas is the hottest place I've been to besides Saudi Arabia. So we went we went to like, if you watch the vlog, you'll see this. Once again, type X straight vid. But if you watch the vlog, um, we went to the desert uh, one of these days. One of, one of the days to go to the, uh, it's called the edge of the world. It's basically like, Imagine the Grand Canyon without the other side. It's just, like, forever. Like, you can just see, like, off into the distance. We had to hike, like, a mile because the road, or the, it wasn't even really, like, a road. It was more of, like, a path. It was, like, kind of, like, washed out and stuff like that. And, um, uh, it was the weirdest thing because we hiked for, like, a mile each way, right? A mile out to get to the edge of the world, saw it mile back the other way didn't sweat the entire time that i was there because it's so hot it's so dry your sweat just like immediately evaporates i guess or something or you just like can't sweat. i don't know what the, what the deal is anyway the second we got into the car we were literally like sweating all over the place like pouring sweat i still prefer that heat though to like the cold of like Detroit winters. I literally hate the winter so much, dude. Hiking a mile in that heat? Oh, nah. Honestly, I'm glad we got to do it. It was a better experience than just driving up there. Now I have that story that I could tell. This continuum soul thing? No. Haven't been for a minute. Continuum be got sold to Evil Genius. And, uh. That's it. Yep. 
Yo, try to come back, Kate. We could just we could just bunker this up and win easy. Why is this guy roaming? Just fucking come down and win the round. Those screenshots are actually pretty insane, Jetto. Uh, Oni Chan, thank you, 11 months. You were in Mexico and it was 140 degrees. I don't, I don't think it was that hot, dude. I don't think it was that hot. That would be like a world record for highest temperature if that was actually true. Maybe heat index 140 degrees. But there's no way that was like the actual temperature. I've actually been to Death Valley before as well, too. That was actually, like, well, the day that I went to Death Valley was not as hot as it was when I was in Saudi Arabia. So I has to roam, bro. Everyone, watch the freezer cam if you can. Oh, no. Headset is dying. I forgot to charge it last night and the night before. Drop freezer. The highest temperature ever recorded on Earth was 132 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I think when we were in the desert, it was like a little over 120. I've been to Death Valley before too, but the day I went to Death Valley, I think it was like, it was still hot. It was like 105 or something. But... Face keenies? It's a face keeny. Yeah, the hottest I've ever been to was was when we were in the desert in Saudi Arabia. It was like two hours into the desert in Riyadh, or outside of Riyadh. That was a hundred and like twenty, like low one twenties. That was the hottest I've ever encountered. I've been to Death Valley before, like I said. But it was like around 105 or something like under 110. If I remember, uh, this was many years ago. I've also been to Vegas when it was like 110, and in the desert of San Diego, where my grandparents lived, it hit 113 one time when we were kids. So this was the hottest temperature that I had ever like physically been in. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get it like. Eh, a snack or something. Um, be right back. Beep, 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 beep. Eh, I'm not gonna get a snack. I'll just I'm gonna I'll eat later. <clears throat> Um, Anundan, thank you for the Prime Sub. Hey, thank you everybody for coming from YouTube. Well, I appreciate it, dude. Uh, I went to Saudi Arabia for Gamers Day. It was like a $2 million Rainbow Six tournament. And they flew 